And we found in the Utopia project that that kind of techniques doesn't work at all. The need to be a more direct dialogue with the users who had who had to take part in the design process. The computer scientists and graphic workers of Utopia created a mock-up or simulation of an ideal computer-based newspaper graphic system. Projecting slides of actual text galleys and photographs to test different methods of manipulating images to create the best possible newspaper page. Here is uh, composition work or uh, uh, page makeup work on the screen. You see the work material here and down here you have the screen menu and from the screen menu you choose the proper operations and the proper tools. In 1982 the opportunity arose to translate Utopia's ideal specifications into a practical computer system by cooperating with a Swedish company that was planning to build a new computer-based newspaper text and image processing system. Known by the name TIPS, this system is now being tested by graphic workers at Often Blodet. We've tried to avoid using engineers' terminology, computer-freak language, uh, creating a, a user interface with commands, menus, uh, methods of operation that are similar to what they are used to working with and still taking advantage of the computer technology. For instance, we are working with masks for cropping. We are working with pictures. Uh, when they look at them on the monitor screen, it's just like looking at pictures laying on a light table or a light box. By implementing traditional graphics operations on the computer, TIPS not only offers increased speed and precision, it also opens up a range of new creative possibilities. For example, the user can easily reverse a photograph or modify its brightness and contrast. The page layout facility of TIPS implements Utopia's specification that users should see a full representation of text and graphics rather than the empty box representations used in most other systems.